Okay, I've now saved the discs and the lamp. There really isn't much um, on these discs. It's only just like accounts and documents and stuff like that, although we do have some drivers. But anyway, I'm going to take this in and let's have a look inside. Okay, so I've got this thing inside. I think the first thing I'm going to do, just so I don't accidentally do this while I'm taking this thing apart, so I'm just going to clip this thing off here so we don't accidentally, or rather I don't accidentally connect the battery because there's probably some old crusty batteries in there that will probably explode if they get connected up so we don't want to, we don't want to risk that. Of course the next thing is how, just how am I going to get into this thing? Right, so I think the first thing to do is turn this thing over and see if we, um, I think the first thing I need to do is I'm going to turn this thing over and see if there are any screws on the bottom of this thing. So, hopefully my desk will not collapse under this thing. Right. Oh yeah, so we got some screws on the bottom there, so that's what's the first going to come up. I may even be able to fix this thing and make it work again. Although I'm in a mood to tear this thing down. Okay. Hopefully this thing's still charged. Let's get those screws out. Is this thing not charged anymore? Oh, it's still good. Okay. So I should just be able to slide this thing off. Hope you enjoyed the little time lapse there. Oh yes, this is going to come right. All right. So let's see what's in here. I think we're going to have some pretty crusty batteries in here, but let's take a look. This okay. Well, we got some stuff, and we got some stuff, stuff. I can already see a swollen up battery, so. Those are going to come out. Um, let's get this off so we can see that circuit board. Alright, now. Let's get this circuit board off and see what lies underneath. I love taking stuff apart. He's getting the screws out. I think I need a bit of a smaller bit, but uh, right. Let's see what's on the underside of this board. Can we get this out? It's gonna come out. There's something really holding that in place. Although I can see something pretty good in there. Just check out that transformer! That's a transformer and a half. I've been trying to get this board out so we can take a closer look inside this thing, although I've absolutely no idea how this comes out. There's definitely something holding this in place, although I think it's just the wires connecting that to the transformer. Also, I noticed when I took this apart that the batteries have been completely disconnected. See this red wire here that goes to the positive terminal of that battery, although you probably cannot see it. Let's just get a close zoom in of that. Yep, that was all just disconnected. 
So somebody's been in here before me and disconnected the batteries. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it was just uh, for safety while it was in the skip or something. That's probably why they did it. Anyway, those batteries are going to be disposed of sooner or later. I'm just going to see if I can get this board out and we can take a closer look inside. This could be a challenge. Okay, well let's try from this side. I think I can disconnect the transformer because there's a little connector here. Although it doesn't seem to want to budge. Oh, I see, it's got a couple of clips on it, so. Not just one of those ones that you can pull out. I cannot get it out. I don't want to break anything. At least not yet. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to resort to drastic measures here because I just cannot get this connector off. I've spent the last hour trying to get it off and it just simply will not budge. Now I wasn't going to actually use this. Let's just see if these wires are holding this thing back. Okay. Don't know what this thing is. Just seems to have a ribbon connector going to it and a, another connector at the other end. There's nothing there. Negative of the battery connected though. Let's just get that out there. Oh no, this is getting out of the way. Still got another wire connected here. I don't know where that's going. It's going to something. I could connect this back up though. There's another connector here, let's just take that off. And another connector here by the looks of things. Yep. And we have stuff. I know some people screaming, oh, why did you take it apart? You could have fixed it and stuff. But I, I was just going to use this for parts, okay? Because... There is some really nice stuff in here that I could use in my electronic experiments and things. So we got a lot of chokes and capacitors over here. I don't actually know what these are. Let's see, yep. Yeah. Capacitor, 2.2 microfarad. I don't know what these ones over here are. It's kind of hard because numbers, of course, are being obscured by this huge choke. We've got a little current transformer there that might come in handy in a switch mode power supply experiment. Got all the logic over here. A little buzzer, capacitor. And I don't know if these are MOSFETs or transistors. I'm leaning towards MOSFETs, but they might be transistors. They got the numbers. HRF three two o five. So I'll have to look that up and see what those are. Oh, but one mystery we can solve now is how to get this connector out. And the other two, I just squeeze the two in here and it just... Well, would you believe it? It's typical, isn't it? Both the transistors on there the same. Yeah. 
So let's just get that out of the way. And get to the even more interesting stuff. Right, I think the first thing we're going to have to do is get these batteries out here, because these are quite bulged. That is, if I can get them out. And then I'm going to get this transformer out. And we're going to call it a day. Oh, I can get this thing off as well. Okay, I'll take that back. I still cannot get that thing off. Well, further into this thing now, I'm going to get this transformer out. I've got some good ideas of stuff I can do with this. Now what? You like to that heater tonight? I keep getting interrupted here while I'm trying to make a video. Right, let's get this transformer. This is the thing I was really after. I've got an idea. I wonder if this can be used as a mains to low voltage transformer. I've got lots and lots of iron in this thing. I mean, this thing takes like 12 volts and converts it to... I mean, this thing takes 12 volts and converts it to mains voltage, so... It might work in reverse. It should do. And let's just get that other screw out. If I can just get my thing in there. Yeah, what a beauty! This is one of the parts I was really after. Now, I'm not going to dispose of these batteries because those are really not part that I care about. And those, they're old, they're all swollen, and they need to be disposed of. Except I don't know where to actually dispose of those batteries, and I have absolutely no idea how to get them out. This thing is sure a lot lighter without that in it, but still. Those batteries are really weighing this thing down. Take off. I don't know why that's there. Yep, I think those are going to have to stay in there. I think that's, you know, once they're in, they're in, and you cannot replace them. I think there's something like that. Because I've no idea how to get those out. Unless... I can unclip this front panel. There it goes. And do we have any screws on the front there we can remove? Oh yeah, there's one right there, so I'm just going to take that out. Sorry if it's not in the shot. I just can't be asked to look in the viewfinder at the moment. Oh yes, it wasn't in the shot. Sorry about that. Right, so, there we go. Now we can get these batteries out. What is with this tape that they've put on this thing? It's making that a lot more difficult than it really needs to be. Cool dude claim one piece of metal, none. Let's see if we can get these out. Put it upright so they don't leak on anything. I might not even come out. Nope, they were just stuck in there pretty good. probably good batteries at one point. Mm. 
All right, so I better dispose of these. Fortunately, they're not leaking, but they are quite damaged. And I'll be back. Well, okay, that just about wraps it up for this video. So I've got some pretty good stuff out of this. Now, again, I will say that I did not intend to fix this thing. I just wanted this so I could get all the good stuff out of it and uh, play around with it. Oh, and I looked at the transistors on these heat sinks. And they are indeed. These are at 75 amps continuous current. They're not particularly fast ones, but each one of those can handle about 100 amps peak and about 75 amps continuous, so that's, uh, that's pretty impressive for such a little package. Okay, so before I go, I just want to have a little bit of a play around with this transformer, because I want to put mains voltage into one side of the transformer and have 12 volts out the other side. Now this side of the transformer is where the 12 volts originally went in. And just look at the size of that conductor. I mean, that is, that is just massive. The only trouble is, on the high voltage side of the transformer, we've got four wires. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know where they originally went, but I decided to measure the resistance across these wires. And the highest resistance I got was between these two wires here, on each end, which came to about 2.3 ohms. Let's just the meter get stabilised. It's measuring 2.4 ohms now, just to be awkward, but... Oh, there we go, 2.3 ohms. So it should be perfectly safe to put 240 volt mains into these wires here, and get 12 volts out here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I've gone and done is I've connected a light bulb in series with the mains. I've got the mains coming in on this thing here. So I'm going to plug this in, and if the light bulb doesn't light up, or lights very dimly, we'll know we're good. Okay, that is now in. Now let's see if we've got anything coming out of this transformer. And I just bang my scope with my hand. To be honest, I was expecting the light bulb to light up just a little bit, but that's not lighting up at all, so... Let's see if this is producing any voltage. And yeah, there we go. We've got about 12.8 volts coming out of that. As that appears to be working. Let's just see if we can measure the voltage going in. With my very, very safe methods of doing things, let's see what the voltage going in is. It's about 234 volts. So, let's connect this directly up to the mains. Alright, this is direct mains hookup, so let's plug it in. And let's see what comes out. I could just keep my probes on there. The voltage is a little higher now, it's 13.3. There we go. So, what I'm going to use this transformer for is, you might remember that vacuum tube Tesla coil that I've got in the shed, and I rewound a toroidal transformer to power up the filament? Well, I'm going to use this as the filament transformer for that because I'm sure we're going to have plenty of oomph coming out of that. And anyway, that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye.